Hello and welcome to this short video introducing our ESG Fusion offering. Um, it really to introduce uh, a, a, an investment strategy uh, that Capital International have been managing for the last 10 years that uh, perhaps investors and, and the market might not have been aware of. Um, I'm joined today by James Fitzpatrick, who's our lead manager on the ESG Fusion. Um, and we're just going to unpack a little bit about our ESG offering um, and, and we'll start by just looking at how the landscape has changed over the last 10 years and, um, and, and really look at uh, our views on ESG um, and then we'll also look at uh, considerations for, uh, for investors. Um, so James, if, if perhaps if we could maybe just start a, a sort of your experience of seeing that landscape change where we are now um, with ESG investing compared to 10 years ago. Oh, yes, thanks, Greg. Uh, the landscape has has certainly changed. Uh, you know, if I remember, you know, ten years ago, the the, the available choices were were very limited, and investors uh, might have had to be prepared to forego returns that they might have been able to achieve in more more traditional investors. And um, when we look at the the same space today, um, it's you know. 10, 20 fold more options available to, to investors in, in, in the ESG space. So it really has become an exciting space. Um, it has really transitioned from an early stage uh, adoption phase to, to a stage now when there's a lot of momentum um, and a lot of interest uh, in those assets and, and a lot of assets um, are starting to lead. Yeah. Um, in that space. And, and uh, I think we're seeing that uh, from an investor's perspective as well. Um, historically, it was very much a, a niche area. You'd have a few clients that were really interested in it passionately, um, whereas now and I think actually one of the drivers of, of that change has been the pandemic and, and that it's given clients time to think about um, how they're investing. Um, and, and, and actually, if you look at the environmental impact uh, the, the the social impact and uh, the the governance issues that have been raised through the pandemic. I think we're at a point in time where um, governments, companies, and investors realise um, that they need to be um, making that difference themselves. And and, and actually now the the as you say that opportunity is there, and we're really seeing that change from from governments, from companies, and from from investors. Um, as well and I, I think part of that process is where do you start as an investor and, and that's something that capital can help you with so we can look at establishing your ESG objectives uh, how do you want to invest are you more passionate about um, biodiversity or are you are you uh, really excited about some of the developments in clean technology um, and, and our ESG fusion offering tries to take a lot of those uh, those best ideas um, and, and provides a solution for the future. Um, and, and I think one of the points that we're very conscious of is that you, you do get a lot of traditional portfolios that, that maybe have a couple of ethical investments that have been added in um, and, and then being provided as a uh, an ethical investment solution. I think, James, if you could just tell us a little bit about ESG Fusion and, and, and how it's constructed um, and what's actually within ESG Fusion, uh, I think that would be useful for investors. Yeah. So as we as we said, you know, the, the universe has has grown and it's allowed us to apply our investment process more more fully um, and really have a portfolio that um, we can shape to our clients' um, re requirements. And uh, I think to your point as well, um, you know, the future for ESG. Uh, it's also looking bright. You know, a lot of the companies that are having to pivot away from more carbon-based, more traditional investments, it's going to take them a lot of time. So we're seeing a, a 10, 20, 30-year market ahead of us um, of growth, um, and we are looking to this sector to actually lead. And it certainly has led the market in many areas for the last 12 to 24 months and actually outperformed those traditional in, in investments. And I think that's that's a good point and uh, just to pick up on briefly is that that performance myth I think has now been dispelled by mm -hmm. and large um, and, and, and I think it's uh, uh, it's sort of a trend that will continue that we expect to see some of the best growth opportunities coming um, from from within um, from within companies and funds 
uh, that have ESG at their core, um, and I think that's also reflected in a, in that drive for change from from governments. I mean, last week there was a, a white paper issued um, by the World Economic Forum um, uh, for, off the back of discussions at Davos earlier in the year, um, which has now brought together um, the, the the big four accountancy firms and most of the. Um, the, the large uh, global institutions to, to try and uh, agree upon a, uh, an established set of criteria for mm. measuring ESG, um, which has always been a bit of a challenge within ethical investment that uh, everyone measures it is still very subjective. Actually, we're starting now to see uh, a, a, a framework um, that enables investment managers to, to really assess whether a company is doing uh, doing um, doing appropriate and, and, and accountable work that you can see within environmental issues around governance uh, and, and and also uh, from from a social impact perspective. Yeah, certainly, and um, you know, because we've been doing this, you know, for for ten years, um, I think this is this is going to help um, the managers that that we've been investing in actually source source those those gems. Um, and take advantage of, of the transparency that's that's coming into the market. And I think that's a really good point as well. I think as investment managers, um, we believe in transparency. So actually within Fusion ESG, you can look through to see the underlying managers we're allocating to, but then also look through uh, at that level to see the underlying companies that you gain exposure to through Fusion ESG. And, and I feel that's something that investors are wanting to see that they actually um, understand what we're investing in and agree with why we're investing in that area and, and I think that is the opportunity to have a, a closer relationship with your investment manager and and to feel like uh, you want to own the assets in your portfolio.